What's up you guys, it's Liv and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be all about how I ran my own charity at 19 and how I am still running my own charity at the age of 21. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first disclaimer I wanna put out there is that I am not 19 anymore, I am 21. But when I started this charity, I was 19 and I've been doing it for a little while now. So I decided that I wanted to make a video about what this is and how I do it. So my charity is called Live With A Purpose. Live, like my name. <laughs> get it shout out to my mom for that one so basically what i do is i have lunch boxes for grades k through six and backpacks for grades seven through twelve and for the lunch boxes i like to fill them with non-perishables water toys candy gummies which i will show you guys and then for grades six and up i like to do a backpack and i still fill them with non-perishables candy toys but i also add some more age appropriate things in there i always add hygiene products especially for girls i'll add tampons pad i include body wash i include toothbrush toothpaste shaving equipment also a gift card to either a local restaurant or Walmart or Target where they can go and buy themselves some extra stuff so I'll go ahead and show you guys that so we are going to first start with a lunch box ah! so this would be a lunch box for a boy I do want to also say that I do take personal requests so if someone is to tell me that for example I had someone who really liked Batman I will customize that gift to a T and I will go ahead and insert a clip here Hey guys, so I'm going to start off tonight by showing you guys some of the super awesome stuff that I have for a kid. I found out that he loves Batman and I found out his age and everything like that. So when I tell you guys that when you guys specify it really does help, I mean it. Because look how many cool things I can get when I find out exactly what they like. I'm starting off with his Batman backpack. I also got him some boxer briefs. I think they're the right size, but I have a gift receipt in here just in case. Then I got him a ton of clothes. Shirts upon shirts upon shirts. They're really cool though and I found out that this little boy honestly came to the people that he knows with absolutely nothing. So I really like finding out what they like, what their size is, what their style is because then you know I can just really customize everything. So those are all the clothes I got for him. I also got him some Batman candy. I also was told that he loves Lego so why not put the two together and I got him some Lego Batman pieces. With all the rage going on you know I had to get a Batman fidget spinner. I also got him a Batman book with pens and stuff like that with all different colors. And then another thing is like a Batman's guide to being cool. I also want to mention that I also got a lunchbox filled with all kinds of goodies and this is all going to the same kid and I'm also including a gift card to Walmart and to McDonald's from one of my super awesome donators and I'm going to include that in the backpack as well just for the family so they can go buy some extra stuff for him or food for the family whatever they need possible. That is how I'm able to specifically customize a gift lunchbox or backpack for someone when I know specific details about them. Oh and I don't know if I mentioned but what I do after I fill them is I take them to local schools, between houses, shelters, anywhere I can and I give them to kids in need. So anyways let me go ahead and show you guys what's in the first lunchbox here. So this is what it looks like when you first open it up. We have some veggie chips and I actually got them October veggie chips. They are like in the shape of ghosts and bats. Some fudge stripes, some Angry Birds gummies, more Angry Birds gummies. I also always include at least two of the things I'm showing you guys. And then I found these little magic towels. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of these, but they're like in this little small compartment and then they and make a towel. So I thought those were cool. I also got them a couple of cookie bars. A couple more cookie bars, some fruit roll-ups, and then some granola bars as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the toys I include. So this is a Lego block set, a paddle with a little this lunchbox in particular would be for a younger boy. For the older boys, I like to include a little bit more age-appropriate things like puzzles, fidget spinners, things that, you know, sixth graders really enjoy. I also always include... That did not go well. I also always include candy. So for this one in particular, I have some Tootsie Rolls. And then I just included some little animal creatures. I have some fishies and some crabs. Then we're gonna go into the bottom compartment here. In the bottom compartment, I have more non-perishables, some more, oh my gosh, I'm dropping everything. More candy, which you guys have already seen. I also included in this one a bubble set. And of course, in every lunch, 
lunchbox also comes a water bottle. So those are some of the things that I would typically include in a lunchbox for a boy that is again gray is probably like three and under. I also do like to include which is not shown I need to actually pick some of those up are some like mini notebooks and I also like to have pencils and then I try to write on one of the pages in the notebooks a little note to the person getting the lunchbox. Now I have above the backfire because my mom's house they're not actually here where I'm at with me so I'm going to insert some clips but I want to talk to you guys about the backpacks. So what I do for the backpacks is they are for the older kids. Typically for 7th and 8th grade I like to choose based on the information I have on the kiddos whether they need a backpack or a lunchbox because a backpack has a lot more also sometimes it's like um, for the Batman clip that you guys saw that backpack was for a younger child if I know for a fact that the child needs more I will provide more if able but for the high schoolers I just tend to do more because they are older I'm going to insert a clip of a backpack here and what I would typically put in them and this is going to be a backpack for a girl probably in seventh grade up through twelfth grade so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that here Please keep in mind that on top of this, I'm going to be adding non-perishables as well, but it's really hard to show those once everything is already in the backpack. So this is what I'm adding on top of the non-perishables. So in the first pouch here, we've just got some lip balm and then I added two things of tissues. I have this pouch and inside of here we have some deodorant, a Subway gift card, some lotion and some hand sanitizer. And then we go farther into the backpack, I have some lady items, shampoo and conditioner. Then we've got the body wash, some makeup remover wipes, toothbrushes and toothpaste, a loofah, a brush. I also included a makeup palette and then also a coloring book and I just now remember to add some coloring pencils so I'm going to add some of those as well. So yeah, that is what I like to include in the backpacks. For the boys, I would probably have that same little kit but not as girly and I would have, you know, razors, shaving cream, body soap, cologne, deodorant, socks, toothbrush, toothpaste, everything like that that they need to just take care of their basic necessities. I have also had specific requests from high schoolers, well, not through high schoolers but through the counselors. I've gone and gotten clothes. I've gotten very specific things for the specific person. So whenever I'm able to customize, I love doing so because I feel like I can make the gift that much more special for the person. Um, yeah, so I started this charity when I was 19 years old. My mom inspired me because she's very charitable and she had a charity of her own and I wanted to be like her and I followed in her footsteps. This is what I do now and I'm really hoping it grows and I can get more people to know about it and to hopefully help or do whatever they can to help their community out. My Facebook page is called Live With A Purpose, L-I-V with a purpose. And you guys can go ahead and follow me on there and get updates. If you guys are wanting more updates on Live With A Purpose, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below because I would love to give you guys updates or little personal stories because I have received thank you cards from students and it just like warms my heart so much so I can show you guys those as well. But yeah, so that's me, that's what I do. It's really, really fun and I really urge you if you can to help out your community you can even do this go to the store buy a lunchbox and then just fill it with stuff and just give it to a kid and just see how happy it makes them and I've just heard the most amazing stories about people telling me about the lunchboxes and how well they were received and it just is such a beautiful thing I also want to show you guys this would be a lunchbox for a girl and it just has a little emoji on the front all emojis on the side like I showed you guys with the boys filled with stuff and here on the bottom of hers a little bit different toy I have like this little stress alien monster thing. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys may have been inspired by it. I am really excited for Live With The Purpose, Live With The Purpose's future, and I just am gonna keep going. It's just what I do, it's what I love. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please go ahead and share Live With The Purpose with people you know, outreach, share me wherever you wanna share me, and I will see you guys for my next video. Bye. First couple things I have are some toy items. I have this foam elf, which I think is pretty cute for the holidays. It's just a little foam toy. The next thing I have is this fairy doll for a little girl. I have a stress toy, which I think is a really helpful thing when kids are going through distress. The next thing I have is a pretty pink headband, which is pretty age appropriate. I have some super cute nail polish, which is pink and sparkly. Now we're gonna get into the food items. So I have some cheese crackers. I included some cookies, animal crackers, fruit snacks, a couple more bags of animal crackers, some more fruit snacks. 
I have these little pretzels with cheese, which every kid loves these. I have some more cheese crackers, and then I have these granola bars in different flavors because every kid's different. All right, so next up, we have a middle school girl's lunchbox or fifth and sixth grade to middle school. Didn't even know this was a pocket right here. Gonna add some extra stuff in here now that I discovered that, but that's cool. All right, so gonna go ahead and open this up and show you guys what I've got packed. Here's the overall view. All right, so not even gonna lie, I'm not super sure what middle school girls like, so I'm just kind of guesstimating here. I have some super smooth body lotion from Bath and Body Works, which I figured was kind of cool. Again, stress toy. A Santa Claus foam. Again, I just think these are really, really cool. I don't know, I like them. All right, so gonna be doing this kind of out of order, so I'm sorry. Two ring pops. Some fruit snacks for the girl. I've got some cheeses. I've got some cookies. I've got some, what are these, granola bars here. I've got some pretzels. I've got some cheese crackers. Now getting into more dummies. Of like the stuff stuff I have, I included a pair of socks. Well, actually I included two pairs of socks. Hoping that this would fit them. This is the size of my foot, so I'm assuming this would fit a middle school girl since I have pretty small feet. And then I included some yummy smelling hand sanitizers, which I think are always helpful, especially in the middle school age because, you know, smells are hard <laughs> in that age. The next thing I included was just this really pretty purple nail polish that obviously I like sparkles, so you guys can tell I like this kind a lot. And then to match, I have this berry cream, I don't know, scented body butter. I think it's pretty cool and it goes with the purple theme I have going on here. And then I found this pretty cool upper pocket. So I'll show you guys what I have in here as well. So we have some animal crackers, a granola bar, and some cheese crackers. And then again, of course, on all of the ones, I'm going to be including some kind of water or juice of some sort. So this is going to be the last one I'm showing you guys for tonight. This is going to be the middle school lunchbox or, you know, grades 5 through 8. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I have inside of here. Ever since I discovered that little pouch on the last lunchbox, I'm just including little crackers or something inside here. I haven't really decided too much yet. So now I'm going to dig right in. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the top pouch first this time because last time it was pretty difficult to show you guys at the end. Not even going to unzip it, you guys can just see. It has the Chips Deluxe in here and then two or three bags of the little fruit gummies. Inside for food, we have some animal crackers here. I've got some, what are these called? The little pretzel poppers with cheese. I have three granola bars. I have four of these little cheese crackers, but I think two of them are the chive flavor and then two are the three cheese. And the next food item I have is a ring pop. So for the food items, I have all of those. So now I'm going to get into toys. I don't really know anything about middle school boys, so this is my best guess. So seriously, you guys, any recommendations I would really, really, really appreciate. So of course, my stress ball that I'm including in every single one. Some more of these little flinger things. I don't even know what to call them. But these are the Avengers ones, which I think are pretty cool. I have a Domino's piece. I don't know if middle school boys like these, but I like these. I think they're really cool. And there's a, there's a lot of them in there. They're like really small Domino's, so there's a nice amount in here. Then I have a really cool colored Rubik's Cube, which I thought was pretty nifty. And then I have another one of those 100-piece on-the-go puzzles, which I thought... Thought might be pretty cool. I don't really know, guys. Honestly, I don't know. 